Reminder that at any time you can stop this video and pause it. That's the beauty of a video. Um, as I go through it, if I'm moving too fast, just pause it. All right, so let's start with as general as it gets, just a random variable x. We just looked at a problem where that random variable could be spinning a spinner, uh, maybe rolling a dice. Just any random variable, if it gives you a probability model, this could be in the form of a table, this could also be in the form of a histogram, or you're being asked to create a model from a given scenario. So the expected value formula is on your formula sheet. Another word for that is mean. And then we have standard deviation formula. Notice, this is really important, on your formula sheet is the variance formula, not actually the standard deviation, okay? So when you see that sigma squared, that's talking about the variance, you must square root that value in order to get standard deviation. And the reason they're giving your, you the variance is because you're going to use the variance when you start combining the random variables. We're not gonna be working with the standard deviation, we're gonna be working with the variance, and we, we'll look at that a little bit more. Okay, so one of the mathematical things you might be asked to do is actually scale the x variable, the random variable. We just did this when we took our outcomes for the extra credit points and multiplied them by two. Okay. So if you're asked to change units, okay, if you're asked to double something or triple something, you'll, these are the hints that you're scaling your random variable. So if that's the case, then you will take the mean of the original variable and you'll just multiply that by the value of A, by the scale factor. The same is true for the standard deviation. You will find the standard deviation and just multiply it by A. You're not working with the variance here. You can just take the standard deviation and multiply it by A. The important thing is, is it is going to change. When we take a, a data set, a distribution, and it's from my right hand to my left hand, and I double that, the spread doubles. There is a change in the spread, which is why there is an impact in the standard deviation. Now let's look at shifting. When we add or subtract a constant, so again, I take the distribution set between my right hand and my left hand, and I add a number to it. Say it all shifts up this way, okay? Every point shifted the same amount. So where, yes, the center changed, the mean, you add the C, there wasn't a change to the spread. The spread of the variable, random variable will not change. So the mean in this scenario for shifting does get shifted up that constant amount, but the spread stays the same. So now we look at what happens when we combine random variable X. We're combining one distribution with another distribution. So say the first random variable was flipping a coin, and then the second random variable was rolling a dice. And say I offer a prize, if you get a head and you get a number six, then you're gonna get a prize, if, if that's the combination. So when we are looking at combining those two random events, what happens to the means? So let's talk about what type of problem. So when you're asked to total two or more random variables, like in the scenario I just talked about, you can go ahead and you can just add the means of those two events to get the new combined expected value. Remember the words mean and expected values can be interchanged. The standard deviation though, you cannot just add the two different standard deviations. You have to add the variance, notice it's squared, so you're adding the variance of your first random event plus the variance of your second random event. So you must use variance here, then you take the square root.
Well, what if we were looking at the difference between the two events? So two random variables, how much higher on average is X than Y? This is an example of what that problem might look like. So we're looking at the difference between random event X and random event Y. The means, you will subtract them. Here's the interesting thing. Even though we looked at the difference between the two variables and we're using subtraction, we are combining two distributions. So that means I have to combine their spread or I have to combine their variance here. So these two, combining and finding the difference, actually have the same standard deviation. You're never going to subtract variances. You will always be adding them. And this is something that's going to come into play as we get to like chapter 9, chapter 10. I can't remember exactly which one when we get to different types of statistical tests. And then the last one, when you're repeating, maybe you're repeating event X over and over and over again. So like repeating, flipping a coin multiple times as separate events. <clears throat> so multiple occurrence problems. This is not the same as scaling. We looked at this in the last video. 2X, X being a random variable, is not the same as X plus X, okay? The means will end up being the same, but there will be an adjustment in the variances. Okay, so the mean is going to be the mean of X plus the mean of X plus the mean of X. How many times you are adding it together is how many times you'll add the means together. <clears throat> but here for standard deviation, I have to take the variance plus the variance plus the variance, however many times I'm repeating this event. Notice it is addition but it's the addition of the variance. And then the last step will be to find the standard deviation by taking the square root. The reason you have to use variance is because of the order of operations, okay? I have to add these variances together and then undo the square rooting. I can't go in the opposite way. Make sure you get all of this down. Write down any questions you might have. We're going to look at more examples in class.